Well, that went about as well as I could have expected. Anyhow, so the past update, very cool update, has added a cool new feature to the heads up display for displaying locations, beacons, and that sort of thing. It makes it a lot easier to read and it doesn't clutter the screen as much. So very, very appreciative for that. However, I need to get work on fixing my ship before, well, more things go wrong. So now let's make sure I have enough hydrogen, plenty of hydrogen, a lot of scrap metal too. And I am going to have to find, where is it? Uh, yeah, that's right, it's on this side. I should be making some components that I can slap a couple of Gatling cannons on my ship. And that should defend us fairly well against anything that should try to attack us. As far as drones go, at any rate. Well, <clears throat> I, what one thing that I do not have is I do not have an arc furnace so I can't really break that down I don't but well, actually maybe I can break that down it just will take a little bit longer in the assembler refinery I'm not sure anyhow let's grab all of this stuff that should be all that we need because that's all that we made also probably grab some solar cells steel plate I think that's what we needed to fix the solar cell over here this guy right here, we're going to want to fix as well. Radio communication components, that's not so bad. All right. Uh, before we fix that, I do want to lay down my turret. Where should I put my turret? I want it to have access. To, well, actually, I would like it to have access to my conveyor system. But I don't know if that's going to be a possibility without drastically altering the design of my ship. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could put it one on the top, one on the bottom would probably just be the safest route. Or one on each side, actually. Wouldn't be a bad idea either. Alright, where are the Gatling turrets located? There we go. Change you back to your default yellow. I could poke them out off of the sides, but that would ruin the profile of the ship. Hmm. I could actually put one right there, and that would have access to everything, I believe. Actually, that's the oxygen generator, so no, it would not. However, I could take out one of these pieces right here and put in a conveyor, and then, yeah, that would work. All right, make sure that this won't float off. Yes, it's attached to that block there. Okay. And... Oh, God, I should have seen that coming. Uh, come back here, motors! And everything else that's just... No! Oh, well. Well, let's get my conveyor. Whoop. I need interior plate as well. That's cool. I'll put these solar cells back. And that's not going to place there. Mm. I will place some of that stuff back. I just need to grab this. Anything else floating around? Okay, no. We just lost a couple of motors. Not the end of the world. As much as I hate doing that. Oh, God. Why you do this game? Okay, so we have a meteor storm inbound. So apparently there are meteors out here. And this is the second one we've encountered. So quite a lot of them by the... Oh, God. They're coming in this direction, too. It would behoove us to get that Gatling cannon up and running pronto. We needed small steel tubes. And then we're going to need the Gatling turret. Which we're going to need the grids for, which I put back.
Ugh. Okay, that should be good. And ooh, doesn't look like we've been hit so far, which is good. However, ugh. yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. Shoot those things. All right. I could probably fit another one on this side right over here. Now, how would I do that, though? How did I have it connected on the other side? I was going to... That conveyor there, so there I removed that block, put a conveyor there, and conveyor tubes there. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I know what it's time for. Yep. Alright, well, the meteor storm's still going on, unfortunately. However, I got my Gatling turrets up and running. They have a metric butt-ton of ammunition for the both of them. So that should be more than good. Now I'm going to see if I can't get that fixed. I think I needed a couple, ten, ten was it, uh, of those radio communication components. Yes, just ten radio communication components. And we can go back and gather up that gold because we needed that extra gold to finish our stuff. Dear lord, this, <laughs> this storm has been going on for quite some time. Ugh. Anywho. There we go, and we need to go to production. We only need 10 of those, and all done. I'll grab that. I'm going to throw these back. So we have one Gatling turret on each side. One is near the bottom on that side, and this one is near the top on this side, so it's kind of sort of symmetrical if you put another two on. But anyhow, it'll be good enough for now. And once we fix our radio antenna, there's only one last thing we need to do before we head on out, and that would be replace that engine, which I really don't need to do, but I'll at least put it in place so I remember to finish it at some point in time. And that's going to require some steel plate, some construction component, well, some thrust components as well. And some of these guys. And a couple of these guys. And a couple of those for good measure. I think I need computers and motors, but whatever. I'm not going to be finishing it. I'm just going to be putting it in place. Okay, I need more large steel tubes and construction components. Whatever. We'll finish that later. It's not really going to affect the handling of the ship too much. So, let's uh, get inside. Close the door and get back to our gold asteroid. There's nothing in this one that we need. Oh, God. We lost an engine. <laughs> so... We're going to have to, well, and that other engine seems to be uh, damaged. That's cool. Good job, asteroids. <laughs> so it looks as though we did suffer some damage, but we still do have our reactor on board, it seems. And where was that gold asteroid? It was around here somewhere. Time to find it. Alright, well it does turn out that we are missing our reactor, which is going to be an exceedingly large problem. However, this is just fixed. I only needed some steel plates and construction components. So that's an issue. Anyhow, back to finding that asteroid. Well, I seem to have found a really awesome asteroid. It has uranium in it, ice in it, and it's kind of fractured into these smaller 
little bits here that have other kind of useful things like iron and whatnot. But the main thing that I'm seeing here is uranium, which is going to be awesome because we're going to need it to build another reactor. And we lost all of our uranium, so that's a thing. Also, there's gold here, there's cobalt here, there's nickel here. And apparently there's also, holy crap, there's a raiding outpost really close, and there's something, well, looks as though it's going away from me. So we may have some contenders to deal with here, as long as we protect ourselves, though they are fairly weak. I believe they have like interior turrets on the outside so we should be safe. I might want to build some static defenses though and that is not a bad idea. In fact, oh, let me look and see where the sun is. Sun, where are you sun? There we go. I'm going to rotate my solar panels, some of my solar panels, like those solar panels, towards the sun so that we can continue to charge. Okay, so what do we all have here? We have plat- oh, we even have platinum on this one! I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we have platinum, ice, cobalt, gold, magnesium, nickel, uranium. This is a really interesting little asteroid, and I think there might even be a little bit more, probably just more iron, but... And this is all that we're going to need. We're going to be able to build a nice little outpost here. We're going to have to uh, build a defensive outpost, though, as there is... You can see out there, it's like five kilometers out. It's kind of just sitting at the edge of our range here. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, i got to do this quick. Production, we're going to build... Um, we need to build some stuff. Okay, what do we need to build? We need to, we need one react, well, two reactors technically. So two reactors, because I'm going to build a static defense that's going to be reactor based, and the other reactor is going to go on this ship. So two reactors. We are going to get a gravity generator to help us mine, and then we're going to need a couple. Well, we we have enough steel plates, so that's not an issue. I was going to build some heavy armor blocks, but we have enough steel plates for that. We also need some Gatling turrets. I might as well get a missile turret up and running. However, I don't have any uranium to build the missiles yet, so we're going to build some more ammunition. Alright, so that's what we're going to be doing right now. Let's get this base up and running as soon as possible because we have a visitor, and he's really close right now. He's shooting at us right now, I think. Um, Alright, where is he? Okay, no, it looks like we killed it. We got its gun, so we are safe. Hello? Can I peek out and not get shot? Yep, alright, cool. I am actually going to start grinding away stuff on this. Come here, come here. Oh, yes, awesome. We knocked out its, uh, its reactor, so we can actually just grind away everything on this. So, screw making stuff. I am, oh, well. <laughs> I am just going to steal parts off of it so we can build our station. So, new large, no, just new station, rather. Let's put the station on this side, because it seems as though we're getting attacked from this side. Um, why are you go- why are you drifting away? I placed you inside of something. New station. There we go, that's better. All right, and let's get some. Well, we'll we'll use light armor blocks. They're only attacking us with well, not very impressive ships right now. So there we go. So it looks as though we are going to be raided from time to time. However, we are going to get this static defense up and running as soon as possible. Hopefully that doesn't move too far because I want to grab some more components off of it. Alright. Um, we're going to be hiding the nuclear reactor inside. We're going to encase it inside of some armor blocks here. It's just going to be very, very utilitarian for the time being because we don't have time to make it look pretty. Whoops, that's actually where the block was going to go. Where the reactor was going to go, rather. So let's place this down like that. Place that down like that. Alright. 
Let's get to welding. Looks like we are out of components already. Let me place down the reactor. Place this down in here. Okay, um, where did that ship go? I'll steal some more components off of it. <laughs> There's just whatever this is. Oh, that's a computer component just floating off in space. All right, well, I'm gonna grab some of these components. All right, nice. And let's place down this bad boy right there. Okay, we have another ship incoming at 8 kilometers and 9 kilometers, so better get moving. So what do I have in my inventory? Stupid freaking scrap. <laughs> like wondering why, why my inventory was full. Scrap. Lovely. So let's go in here. Looks like we have enough hydrogen because I think I just refilled that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I did repair my engine off screen. I'm going to grab more. Oh, actually, I don't need to grab any of that. I'll just grab it off of the ship. Actually, I'm probably going to be getting a lot of scrap from that, but whatever. Stuff that I scrap off of the ship is free. Also, there's something floating out here. Scrap. Okay, I don't need scrap. There it is. I'm going to grab this little doohickey right here. It's going to have a lot of computers in it, so that's nice. Okay, maybe it's not going to have much of anything because it's pretty well destroyed. Control. Going to have some interior plates. Going to have some good stuff in that. I don't know if there's much left in this other than, well, steel plates and... Yeah, that's about it. Steel plates. Okay. Whatever, I'll still use it. I mine as well. Okay, we have another ship incoming. Three kilometers. I need to get protected. Because he could very easily shoot at me now. However, my, st my uh, ship defenses should repel it. Assuming it's not a ship that has more than, well, what I was being attacked with earlier. Okay, I'm going inside my ship because I could very easily die here. Or at least I'm going to take cover. Let's take cover while I throw in... Ugh, look at all that nasty scrap. I don't need that. But I did gain some other useful components, so I'm going to grab those steel plates. Hopefully I don't die here. Looks as though we took out the interior turret on it. <laughs> so, that's nice. Also, we took out the reactor on it. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that. Oh, boy. I almost died there. Uh, yeah, don't, don't go into those green clouds of smoke. You can, you can die. <laughs> yeah, the radiation damage is a real thing. All right, um, we got another assailant coming in. I really need to get this up and running as soon as I can. Okay, that's almost done. All right. Looks like our health recovered a little bit, but it's not going to really go much past what it's recovering right now. All right, there we go. Um, I do want that. That should cover it enough where it won't get shot at. And let's see here. What do we have? Okay, we need some... We're going to need quite a lot of things for that. Oop, there's some stuff drifting off that I can grab. Ooh, don't almost up I went right by it. There we go. Grabbed it. Okay. So there are some useful things that are just dro uh, drifting off here. Okay, so this, we have metal grid, which is good. We're going to need that for our own reactor. Steel plate. Good. Oh, don't want to get too close to that electrical. 
I thought I saw some uranium here. Oop, was that uranium? Yes, that's uranium. Exactly what we need. Although I can, you know, just grab it and refine it. This makes it just a whole lot easier. Also, large steel tube. All right. Now that's what I call progress. We managed to defend quite a few attacks. Despite the fact our ship is pretty well maimed from the asteroid attack earlier in the uh, uh, the episode, but I think we'll be set. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop grinding that stuff away. It, I don't have enough room on me. All right. Well, I'll put what I have on me inside of the reactor right now. Just need some more reactor components, motors, and computers. That's actually not so bad. Also, let's get that Gatling turret up and running. Let's put that right on top. Perfect. Our health is recovering nicely. That is nice. All right, uh, we'll keep the reactor stuff on us. Uh, we needed some more reactor components. I didn't really recall how many, so I'll bring 50 with us. I think it's less than 50 that we need. Probably also need some large steel tubes. And motors. And computers, I believe. I'm going to just bring extra with us because we're going to be building a gravity generator as well on that station. Probably should bring some more steel plate with us because I'm going to be expanding the station a little bit. Uh, probably 200 is going to be enough. And I think that's about it. Don't know if we require any small steel tubes or anything like that. Maybe a display or two. All right, we got another assailant incoming. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put this in first. The steel plates in first. I'm going to hide inside of my little hidey hole whilst my ship does what it does best. All right, now that that is all up and running, I can throw in the uranium. There we go. It looks as though, are we safe? I don't see fire coming from the assailant anymore. Yeah, we we are making short work of those, which is very useful. Because they will keep on coming. <laughs> they will not stop. Alright, I used too much of what I had on me. So I need construction components, metal grids, and that's it. Awesome. That should be enough construction components. More than enough. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. And some metal grids. We didn't need many. Uh, 20 should be fine. Also, we actually 15 is how many it requires. Um, we're going to need some ammunition. So let's steal a couple. Uh, ammunition canisters. I'm going to take five. Well, no, we're going to want more than five. How about ten? Ten ought to be enough to defend us for a while. <laughs> just look at all these wrecks just sitting out here. And there will be more. As soon as we get this Gatling turret up and running. And we will p put some ammunition in it. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. So, our defensive structure is all up and running, so we can probably get with uh, building the gravity generator. That's right, I don't have any steel plates on me. But, you know what, I think that's enough for this episode. I'm probably going to be scavenging some useful components off of this ship. 
and that ship, assuming there are still useful components on it. In fact, I might just do that now. Mine as well. So, pretty much anything other than iron is what we're looking for. That just has steel plates left. That just has interior plates left. That, well, there's pretty much nothing left on this. Nope. And, yes, computers. Okay, well, we got the computers out of that. Okay, well, what about you? You might have some useful stuff on you yet. Ooh, there's still a reactor left. Can't get too close to it, though. Alright, there we go. Um, I'm going to drop some of this nasty-ass scrap so we can grab the uranium that I saw. Haha! -ha, there we go. And there were metal grid, which is always good for heavy armor blocks, which we will be building at some point in time. Alright, there we go. Good enough. Unless that's what, superconductor components? Nope. That's just reactor components. We don't need that. Alright. Back to our ship. And I think this is going to be a decent place to build a temporary base, a temporary mining base. Uh, well, we continue to be attacked, but I think we'll be fine now. So let's head on in as soon. Well, let's just head on in. And let's bring our components inside. And there we go. All right, well, I think that'll be it for this episode. We accomplished quite a bit. Unfortunately, our ship got damaged in the process. However, we did find a decent place to put a mining base. It's an interesting little asteroid here. However, unfortunately, <laughs> the interesting little asteroid is square in the middle of both of those raiding outposts. So that'll make life difficult, but I think we can manage. So thank you folks for watching, and I will catch you folks next time.